Aloha, my dear siblings in Christ. General Convention is just around the corner in Louisville, Kentucky. And you've received notice that Diocesan Convention is going to take place in October. Now, among the things that happen at General Convention and that can happen at our own Diocesan Convention are resolutions. And the Episcopal Diocese of Hawaii uses the same model of resolution writing as the General Convention. And so I just wanted to offer a word about writing a resolution. Now, if you file a resolution online for Diocesan Convention, there are instructions on how to write a resolution. But I thought I'd walk you through some of the key points if you're thinking about offering a resolution to this Diocesan Convention. First, the model of resolution writing that we use in this diocese is the same as the one used for the Episcopal Church's General Convention. So the first thing to notice, there are no whereas clauses. Now technically that uh, whereas clause is a preambulatory clause. In place of a whereas clause, following the resolution, the person proposing the resolution can provide an explanation. Why? Well, you know whereas clauses are really an explanation. It's laying out the reasons for the resolution. Technically, however, you only adopt the resolution. The problem with preambulatory clauses, the whereas, is people can spend so much time arguing about what the whereas is and what the whereas means that the resolution itself can lose meaning. So no whereas clauses. Go right to the body of the resolution. Now, the first thing to notice about any resolution is you've got to be clear in, in the operative clause who's doing what. So be it resolved that the 56th annual meeting of the Convention of the Diocese of Hawaii. So if you're writing a resolution for Diocesan Convention, the resolution is from the Convention. The same way if it's a resolution in your parish, be it resolved that the vestry of St. Mark's Parish, it, it's the who that's taking action. Now the who needs to do something so that immediately following that, the clause has to be a verb. Be it resolved that the 56th annual meeting of the Convention of the Diocese of Hawaii dec decries the use of sunscreens containing plastics. It's pretty clear, right? The verb in this case is decries. It can be affirms, directs, designates, celebrates, invites, supports, endorses, but it's a verb. But then the resolution needs to call upon someone to do something. So in this case, the example I'm using, the convention is decrying plastics and sunscreens. So what? Who cares if the Episcopal Diocese of Hawaii decries the use of sunscreens? Be it further resolved that the 56th Annual Meeting of the Convention of the Diocese of Hawaii commends the legislature and governor of the state of Hawaii for enacting laws banning the use of plastics in sunscreen sold in the state. Ah. We're commending someone for doing something for something that we have decried. But how are they going to know? 
Be it further resolved that the 56th Annual Meeting of the Convention of the Diocese of Hawaii directs the Secretary of this Convention to communicate this resolution to the Governor and members of both houses of the Legislature. Communicate, meaning they can send an email, a group email, but explaining that we wanted to thank them for an action they took. You see how it fits together? It's coming from convention. There's a verb, in this case, three verbs. Decrying something, commending someone, and directing someone. Now we have to be careful that whenever we do this, we have to ask, is there a budget implication? So, what happens if there's a budget implication? Well, if we've adopted the diocesan budget already, or if it's coming, the resolution might have an additional clause that deals with money. Um, how, how would that happen? Here's one. Be it resolved that the 56th annual meeting of the Convention of the Diocese of Hawaii hereby declares that the bishop's favorite donut, the old-fashioned plain donut, to be the official donut of this diocese. Be it further resolved that the 56th annual meeting of the Convention of the Diocese of Hawaii authorizes the purchase of such plain donuts at all official liturgical and educational events of the diocese. And be it further resolved that the 56th Annual Meeting of the Convention of the Diocese of Hawaii directs the Treasurer of the Diocese to change the 2026 budget previously adopted at this meeting to reduce the line item of 7A emergency grants of $20,000 to zero and create a new line item in the 26th budget, 6I Donuts of $20,000 to purchase such donuts. So, the resolution, acknowledging the bishop's favorite kind of donut, a plain cake donut, has declared the donut to be the official donut of this diocese. It directs the purchase of such donuts at all events of the diocese. And to do so, it changed the budget to create a line item for donut purchase. So do you get a sense of what or how a resolution lays itself out? In the resolution, you're saying, in the case of the convention, that the convention does something. The convention provides for implementation of that something. And finally, if necessary, the convention resolves to pay for it. We must be careful when we write a resolution that we can pay for it, whatever we want to do, that there is the capacity to fulfill what we want to do, and that it's communicated appropriately to those who need to know what needs to happen. One last point. As you write a resolution for a convention, ask yourself, who are you addressing? Congregations, clergy, civic leaders, and what impact that the, will the resolution have on the body of Christ and the mission of the church? So I hope that helps. How to write a resolution. Remember, no whereases. You can write a fulsome explanation. And when you put in the resolved, it's on behalf of the body that's acting 
in our case, the annual meeting of Diocesan Convention. We have to know what we're doing. We have to know who we're telling to do something. And if money's involved, we have to explain where the money's going to come from. Resolutions are always welcome. Aloha.